The vivarium is a new word we have in our industry and that is because a vivarium is different from an aquarium which holds water and a terrarium which is pretty much just land based. Vivariums is a living ecosystem and there's no better denizen of a vivarium than a poison dart or a poison arrow frog. Again the jewels of the rainforest just are so brightly colored that they're sought after by collectors and hobbyists throughout the world. Unfortunately for the frogs in nature, they're disappearing. So these have now popped up because of the money that can be made by breeding them. There's captive breeders all over the country that are supplying the pet world, and we're learning enough to leave the wild ones wild, which is very important to me in particular. Dart frogs such as this need a forest floor. You see that we have them sitting on this beautiful moss with a piece of wood. This is living moss. This is living at the bottom of the tank they live in. There'll be a little waterfall in the background to keep the animal humid. They are a terrestrial creature. They're not really climbers. So they can hop up onto logs and they'll climb a little bit up uh, any kind of a, an angled branch, but they're not a tree frog. They definitely are denizens of the forest floor. Their bright colors, of course, tell predators and people alike that watch out, there's poison here. But due to the fact that the frog gets its poison through a series of events of what it eats in the rainforest, they are not toxic in captivity, which is great. We feed them fruit flies, actually flightless fruit flies, so they don't fly out of your tank, which are also grown by, by breeders, and small crickets and other types of worms that'll keep them quite happy in their forest home. I don't advocate grabbing them, but if you had to touch one, you would not die from the poison as you might with one in the wild, which was a very important thing if you're gonna sell one to somebody. So poison arrow and poison dart frogs have caused somewhat of a revolution in the reptile amphibian industry in that years ago it was just snakes and lizards, snakes and lizards. But here we've pulled all kinds of people into the hobby because frogs, who doesn't like a frog, right? Everybody likes frogs. And this is something that be kept in a 12 by 12 inch tank. What a conversation piece in the house, a living room or office to have something that sounds really exotic, sounds dangerous. It's a poison arrow, a poison dart frog, but we know better. They're just jewels of the rainforest. Easy to keep, easy to feed, and just a fantastic long-term captive animal.